Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding two brackets. So we want to expand and simplify these two expressions here. Now remember from the first video on expanding two brackets that we said that we want to multiply each thing in the first bracket by each thing in the second bracket. Let me just write that again. So multiply each thing or each term in the first bracket by each in the second, by each term in the second. So if we apply that to this, we take the first term in the first bracket and multiply it by each of the things in the second bracket. So we've got the 2x times the x, or well, 2x times x is 2x squared, and 2x times minus 4, well positive times negative is negative, and the 2x times the 4 is just 8x. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. So we've got the 3 times the x, which is plus 3x, and we've got the 3 times the minus 4 is minus 12. So basically we've got all the different combinations of choosing one thing from here, this bracket, and one thing from this second bracket. And if you've got two things in each bracket, you'll end up with four terms. And then we can just collect like terms. So this x squared term, there's no other x squared term, so there's nothing we can collect it with, so the 2x squared just stays the 2x squared. However, look, we've got an x term here and an x term here. If I just underline those to make it easier to collect. What's minus 8 plus 3? Well, that's minus 5, so we've got minus 5 lots of x. And then finally we have this minus 12 here, the constant term as we call it. And that is the fully simplified and expanded expression. What about the second one? When we've got 3x minus 4 squared, well, anything squared just means this thing times itself. If I had to say 5 squared, that would mean 5 times 5. So 3x minus 4 squared is 3x minus 4 multiplied by 3x minus 4. So we write out the bracket twice, and then we can do the same thing as above. We do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So let's do the first thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. A very common student misconception is to think it's 3x squared because they forget to do the 3 times the 3. Then we've also got the 3x times the minus 4. Positive times negative is negative, so it's minus and it's 12x. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So we've got the minus 4 times the 3x, which is again minus 12x. And we've got the minus 4 times the minus 4. Negative times negative is positive, so it's positive 16. And that's another common student error that they accidentally put minus 16 instead of plus 16. And then let's collect like terms. There's only one x squared term. But minus 12 minus 12 is just minus 24. So we've got minus 24 lots of x. And we've got that plus 16 minding its own business at the end. And that is the final answer.